Hey guys! <laughs> I know you guys are like, where the hell has this girl been? I am back. I took like a month off. It feels like almost two months. I think my last video was a month ago. I have been traveling like crazy. Um, beginning of May, we took our son on a Disney cruise, which I highly recommend. Also, you guys should be following me on Instagram because I post so many stories while I'm traveling and I post reels and TikToks and I feel like you're either doing a YouTube video or you're making a real TikTok. Um, it's hard to like do both because you're really not in the moment if you're doing both. But I posted some reels on it. I highly recommend it. It was so much fun for both adults and kids. We went to the Bahamas and then Disney's private island in the Bahamas as well. So much fun. Um, I'll insert some clips here. And then literally like two days later, I went to Scottsdale, Arizona for my friend's bachelorette party. Um, that was so much fun as well. I was really inspired when I came back from that trip. I saw a lot of real estate in Paradise Valley, got a chance to go to some open houses. Beautiful. <laughs> like, mansions were absolutely stunning. Um, went there, came back, went to Atlanta, went to Charleston, um, then my friend's wedding, and then this past weekend, I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> I just can't think of it. And then this past weekend, I went to a beautiful tea party, which I'll put some clips here too. I did post a reel on that as well. I was gonna vlog that day, but then I just didn't. Like, I think I got too drunk, if I'm being honest. <laughs> like, I think I had too many drinks, and then I ended up saying it's hot. It has been hot as heck everywhere. I was like, it's too hot, and I'm just not going to be able to vlog. And I'm drunk. So that didn't happen, but I'll put some clips in of that too. But yeah, follow me on social media so you guys can like see like the day to day. Um, and then what else has been going on? The sun keeps coming in and out today. I think you guys saw it got brighter. So I don't know if I wanna wear a hat because it says it's gonna rain this afternoon. But, oh, and then Father's Day. I've been trying to like get more into TikTok. My TikTok and my Instagram handle are the same. It's at I am Elizabeth Davis. So follow me on both. Um, but I've been posting a little mini day in the life vlogs on those two platforms, um, mainly TikTok. I'm trying to really get into it. I like it. Um, I hate Instagram. I just, I, I, it's not really not my thing right now. Um, so that's about it, I think, <laughs> that I can remember. But yeah, I felt like every week or every weekend it was something else. So like every time I wanted to like, do, Cause my thing is like, I like to do like a day in the life. So I like to pick up the camera, film a day, edit it and then post it. I don't like like a week. Cause it just becomes choppy and like all over the place. I like to get a one video done within a day or two. So it felt like every time that I wanted to pick up the camera, it either wasn't enough footage or it just was a mess. It wasn't enough footage or it wasn't what I expected. I ended up not vlogging or but I am going. We're in the second half of the year, guys. It is like July, July 3rd. We're going to put out videos. So let me know what you guys wanna see down below. Because I am actually moving, so this will not even be like my background anymore really soon. And I am so over like the furniture I have right now. I know you guys, some of you probably subscribe because of home decor. Um, so this video is gonna be something like that. Um, I'm over it and you guys know I got a lot of white furniture and my three-year-old, he just turned three in May, um, likes to jump on it and yeah, I now understand why my mom had like that separate white room and then she had the living room because no. <laughs> so I'm probably going to get rid of all of this stuff. I am going to keep my CB2 coffee table. I love this coffee table, although it does scratch easily. I probably am going to keep that. But I am on the hunt for like new art, new furniture. Um, we probably will take another trip to Asheville to the outlets to see like what furniture they have. And uh, yeah, so today <laughs> I'm going to get a car wash first because my crazy self left the window cracked accidentally when I got like a ride through car wash and my whole window was like streaked from like the soap coming in but I was in a hurry so I had to go so I haven't gotten it fixed so I'm going to get a car wash first and then I am going to go to Target um home goods and maybe at home I haven't been to at home in a while usually the stuff is just the same so I may stop by there as well and yeah, I feel like that's gonna be like our day, a little shock with me. Um, and 
see what we can find because guys I I feel like once you decorate a space once you decorate a space you're like over it but now that I'm like moving into a new space it's like okay now I can be creative again and now I can like get those juices flowing and like figure out what I want it to look like also another update I wanted to give because I see a lot of the comments saying like you never updated us on the hyperhidrosis and like the Botox well I did in the comments but I will update it here too I don't think I'll get it again because I still sweat um and that is really disappointing after like, I think it was like what, 260 maybe? I can't remember what I paid. Um, but I still sweat. I thought in the beginning that it was working, but maybe it's just really hot outside now too because it is like 100 degrees. So I think anyone would naturally sweat, but I still sweat so I'm really on the fence of not ever getting it again. Not on the fence, but I'm leaning more towards not ever getting it again because I don't think it worked the way I thought it was gonna work and determine that my sweat glands are too strong for anything and I'm just gonna be a sweaty bitch for the rest of my life, okay? So <laughs> that's the update on the hyperhidrosis and the Botox. And I'm going to head out now because I have been standing here talking forever and I don't want to get rained on. I think I might put on a hat, guys. Let me show you the hat. So they never talk about this, but I have a brand called Pretty Priv and I actually have hats with that brand and is this not the cutest thing my best friend has been wearing hers a lot and her head i have a big ass head guys i don't know if you guys can tell because i'm not next to anyone a big ass head <laughs> and when i have like extensions too it's like okay it's a little bulky i don't need any extra any extra you know so um i've really been working on bringing pretty priv back in different ways so go follow at pretty priv co I am going to start posting in the second half of the year on that account. I am so excited for what I'm going to be doing with it. I might even bring these hats back, but <laughs> thinking about wearing this today, I should have thought about myself when I made these hats and got like a stretchy one, but I didn't. So I might wear this today, but let's head out, go get a car wash and go do like a little shop with me and see what the stores have. Guys, I think I'm going to regret doing this on a Sunday, but... Nevertheless, here we go. Okay, guys, so I just pulled up to Home Goods and let's go in. should have expected that because on a Sunday you know and it's like one o'clock which isn't that late but I feel like on a weekend for home goods you got to get up early and like be one of the first people there so I didn't find anything I'm gonna go to Target and see if they have anything cute I haven't heard much about Target and new collections lately, and I just haven't been to like that section of Target um, in a while. So, let me see if they have anything cute inside of Target. And then, I'm going to check it out. It is hot, okay? What is my thing say right now? 94. It's 94. It's too hot. Mm -mm. I gotta go. But I'll see you guys at Target. Yeah, so I'm leaving 
Target. I did not find anything but a phone case. You guys, actually, I think it looks more white out here, but it's like a light pink. I've had this one before on one of my other iPhones, but I got the 13 Pro before I went on vacation, and I cannot tell you guys how many phone cases I bought for it. It might be embarrassing. Um, although I am returning one because it was a Kate Spade and I thought it was my buy, but it's not. Anyway, but I hope you guys like seeing like what they have right now. Um, I did see some new things that I hadn't seen before, but just nothing like amazing that I needed. Uh, also, I don't know if you guys have realized, but I'm kind of getting more into black. Like, black has always been something that I wore 24 seven, but like as far as decor, like, I am getting more into like decorating more with black now. I'm getting more into using, I'm getting more into using like black instead of white since I told you guys the white is just getting too dirty with a toddler. So I'm definitely looking at like matte black stuff. Um, just black with white accents now instead of maybe white with black accents if you get what I'm saying. So that's really the vibe I'm going for which I don't think I mentioned. Um, but I didn't see anything that was like, I need to buy this. I feel like a lot of the times Target stuff is like overpriced and you can go to like to outlets or to um, different, like I even know where a Target outlet is. I did a video on that. You can go to like one of the outlets and find affordable things. Okay guys, I'm back home. Can we talk about how Shake Shack somehow put funnel cake flavor in a shake? What kind of artificial flavoring is this? It tastes just like funnel cake. It's an Oreo funnel cake milkshake. And I never really get Shake Shack shakes because like, I don't like to drink sugar and stuff. Like I, that's not my thing. Um, but this tastes just like a funnel cake and I know I'm not gonna drink it all, but like, cause it's like one of those, you know how funnel cake is like greasy. So once you had enough of it, like that taste, you're like, okay, I'm done with it. That's how I feel about this shake. It's not like an Oreo shake where you would like finish it. It's like, It's like it tastes like a funnel cake. Like what are they doing in the labs to make something taste like a funnel cake? I don't know. But. And I'm pretty sure the pieces you're getting are Oreo. Okay, anyway. Enough with the shake. I'm about to put on my workout clothes and I guess wipe off my makeup. I never, it is very rare in my current life that I take off makeup and work out. I usually work out in the morning or not at all, but we're gonna work out. <laughs> so, um, I wish you guys some progress pictures too. I am gonna have like an updated video coming out soon um, with like some more before and after pictures, things like that. But I'm gonna go get a workout in and I'm pretty excited because I think no one's down there. And my mom looks at me so crazy. Looks at me crazy when I say I love when people aren't places because she's like, why would you want to be somewhere alone? Why wouldn't you? Like, why wouldn't you want to be at the gym alone? Why wouldn't you want to be at Target alone? Or without like a lot of people, you know? Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm gonna put my gym clothes on and we're gonna go down to the gym. I might bring my big ass camera. <laughs> 